put your hands together for Mark Smith! And his opponent in this title bout in the red corner from Team Pitbull, Rod Aiken! This fight will have the FFC Cruiserweight title, will have Mark Smith in the black shorts, Rod E. King in the white shorts. Mark tried to throw the shots, Rod tried to use his head to move his way in. Combination there by Mark, but Rod seems to be taking them on the arms. Nice job there by Mark. Rod's defense is pretty well, doing pretty well, um, just taking them on the gloves. Oh, just lunging in there and uh, Mark tying him up. I think Rod needs to let his hands go a bit more. Uh, he hasn't really hide much back. He hasn't really given uh, Mark Smith anything to worry about. James is back over there, James is just saying it's been a pretty slow start of the fight. Uh, the first round's just finished, but yeah, uh, start the second round now. Mark's and just been uh, a lot of straight shots. Mark's trying to, as you see there, on the head movement. A lot of slipping and rolling. Looks like a very aggressive fight as well from both fighters, throwing a lot of powerful shots. Big guys, cruiserweights. They're not going to waste any yeah, shots, well, I don't uh, think. <laughs> I've heard some stories about Rod, and one of them's um, he went to Russia by himself to fight someone from the Mafia in a pit, bare knuckle. He's going to be a tough guy to do that. Rod just took a nice right hook, but just shook it off there. Rod again, a switch here it seems, going from Orthodox to Southpaw. Picking his hands back up there, his hands a little bit too low there for me. Mark Smith working the jab, missing with a big wide right hook there. Rod looking to come in, find his range, slips and rolls nicely. Yeah, he does. Uh, he, he likes to be in close and on the chest there. Uh, I think he's just trying to find the space to get in there, but Mark's just jabbing and moving. You can see once Rod's on the inside, he tries yeah. to let his shot go, but he's just that too close, just that bit too close. Yeah. When he's letting those shots go, they're powerful, they're, they're, you know, they're big swings. If one of those lands clean, that's going to cause Mark Smith some problems. Smith there working the jab nicely. Smith from an independent fighter. Rod Aitken representing Team Pitbull. Now Smith caught Aitken there with a left hook, but it just bounced off Rod's chin. Rod Aitken with the white shorts, Mark Smith wearing the black shorts with the red trim. Missing there again, Smith with the left hook, we come to the end of the round. Can I ask the age of the fighter, Lee, what's, what's, what age is Rod Aitken? Um, I, I've got a feeling he might be 54, but I'm not 100% sure. Wow. Interesting though, nowadays fighters seem to be hitting their prime older, and having longer careers than, than say 
you know, 20, 30 years ago, 40 years ago, back when you were talking in the days of like Muhammad Ali and you had, you know, you had fighters like Henry Armstrong who were, who were in the late 30s, early 40s considered old fighters, whereas you have Bernard Hopkins who was a legitimate, yeah, yeah. a legitimate world champion, you know, in his, his late At 40s. The age of, uh, uh, in, in 50, I think. 50, I think, yeah. Okay, both fighters come storming out the corner there, straight into a clinch, trying to throw short shots on the inside. I think we can both agree that Aitken has the greater power oh, over he's Smith. Just caught there with a nice left too. Yeah, I think I think Smith's just trying to jab a move and yeah. not let him get on the inside. It's a it's a good strategy to have against a powerful fighter like Aitken. However. I think Smith needs to keep that right hand high as he's throwing his jab out. He's going to look for a left hook counter from Aiken. You can see Aiken there just, just shaking his arm. I know one of the injuries I that he did that. have was uh, he's, he's tore something in his shoulder. I mean, he probably shouldn't really be fighting, but he's a proud man. He would never pull out a fight, you know? Absolutely. And these are the things that the audience don't realise that, you know, when fighters are getting in here, not only are they having... Oh, oh that's not there shot. from Aiken. Oh. That's hurt Smith as he holds on. Referee breaks him, gives him a little bit of space. Smith seemed to recover well. He's, Smith has got to keep that right hand up, Lee, as he throws those jabs. Yeah, I agree with uh, Rod coming in with them big left hooks. Is how much damage is it going to do to his shoulder? Missing again with those big left hooks, Smith. If you can just keep working off that jab and keep the right hand up, perhaps he can have some success against Aiken, who's just stalking Smith right now, looking for an opening to throw one of those big shots. Nice up, a body movement from Rod there as well when uh, Smith's throwing the jab. Yeah, you can just see he's complaining about his shoulder now. I think he may have damaged that shoulder. Let's hope Aiken can get through this round and perhaps find a, find a clean shot. And there it is, the big left hook, half caught on the glove as the bell goes. Saved by the bell, a little bit of smiling and talking there between the two fighters. Smith tearing forward there, coming a little bit square on. I think if Smith was to stick to his boxing, he'd have a lot more success against Aitken. Again, Aitken using that lovely head movement. To be careful there, Aitken doesn't but, uh, punch himself out by throwing too many hard punches without connecting. It takes a lot out of you, especially if he's carrying an injury in that elbow. That could cause problems. I think Aiken's just looking for the shot and Marks is trying to box his way through the rest of the fight. I agree. I, th I think. Oh, oh no, that lovely left right hand. Aiken on the back foot. Apologies, Smith on the back foot there as Aiken tears forward, catches him again with another left hook. Smith holding on for dear life, it would seem. If Rod Aiken can just keep, keep his composure and look to land a clean shot, we could see the end of this fight shortly. <laughs> even when Mark lands, the shots are just bouncing off air. Absolutely. I think, to be honest, even if he was landing clean shots, I don't think they would hit Aiken. So therefore, Smith needs to win this fight. Smith needs to box and land clean shots. Yeah, I agree. I think he needs to box clever where ones, twos, and straight back out. Oh, not swinging like that. I agree. I think, I think Aiken may actually be, be worried to throw shots in cases it causes him more damage than it causes yeah, his opponent. I, I agree. Yeah. He's, he's like Adam Sparman as well. Oh, oh, lovely shots. Oh, shots after the bell. I'm not sure if the fighters can hear the bell either. Got the combination, then he's trying to unload with a power and catch him with a hoop. Yeah. Agreed. Smith sh shutting down his distance there by running into Aiken. 
I think part of that is he's, he's concerned about getting caught with a shot at range, so he's kind of oh, closing the work down. Two, uh, two nice left hooks there by uh, Aiken. Smith looking to just tie up Aiken, trying to smother his work. <laughs> yeah, I think he's uh, not keen on the power, to be honest. He just sees he's four in the one, two, and then he's stepping straight in to try and smother. Yeah, absolutely, smothering his own work. If you can just stay at range, get that right hand up, work the jab, maybe hook off the jab. Aiken's looking, stalking him now, looking for that one big shot. If he's looking to box him, Smith, those big right hands, they're not gonna, big right hooks over the top, are not gonna do anything, because he's not even, even if he lands one, he's not holding his feet, he's falling into the shot as he throws it, so it's not really carrying any power. That's gonna bounce off Aiken. Yeah. So, for me, I don't think Smith is gonna hurt Aiken. His way to victory is to box. Yeah, he, de he definitely needs a box. Just stick to one, two, threes, and straight back out, one, twos out, one, two, step to the side. Good uh, advice from his corner there, because every time Rod is first, he is catching him. Absolutely, I, th I think if Rod can, I mean, I mean, for us, we want to see Aitken throwing combinations and throwing shots, and if he's throwing twos and threes, he's likely going to catch Smith. However, as we said before, with the injuries that Aitken's carrying, that's that's potentially s stopping him from throwing his combinations, and that's why he's looking for single shots. Oh, there he goes. In. And there we have the end of the fight. The end of the fifth round. All right, folks, please put your hands together for both our warriors. What a war. We've got a winner, and your new Fight Fest Championship Cruiserweight Champion in the blue corner, Mark Smith. And let's hear it for a up, Ron Aiken. Once again, folks, please put your hands together for the new Fight Fest Championship Cruiserweight Champion, Mark Smith. <laughs>